أحد الله الصمد لم يعلم ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر Shalom. Call La Yim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Kakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Akim and a few Akwath across the four winds. This is your brother Batamaya from Great Millstone, Houston, coming to you with a quick hit. Now, my brother sent me this on Instagram and it caught my attention, you know, a little dirt. I guess he's one of the I guess I'll say the face of um, drill music right now. Well, should just call it, you know, deaf music, because that's all it's pushing, you know. But I guess they're supposed to be in, into Islam or whatnot. But you're not supposed to be praying and doing all this extra stuff out in the middle of the streets. That's against the scriptures, especially you being an Israelite, which is so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But hey, it's a lot of wickedness, especially in his music. And he know that the type of vibration that it's pushing too. I'm sure he's lost friends and family. And then he's probably called some shots to where people have lost friends and family also. So just a bunch of wickedness going on. We have to get up out of Babylon, but I just want to bring out a few, few precepts on this. Um, Matthew chapter six, I'm just gonna start at the top. Matthew 6 and 1, take heed that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, otherwise, ye have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. So when you're giving alms, you're not supposed to, you know, be seen. Because everything nowadays is done on camera. Uh, you don't have to do it on camera. Like the most high sees everything anyway. The most high puts it on your spirit to do so anyway. He puts you in that position to do so. But the point I wanted to get to was Matthew 6 and 2. Therefore, when thou doest thy, I mean, is it 2? Salaki, is it and 5? Let me jump down. Let me get to the point, Salaki. Matthew 6 and 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. That they may be seen of men, verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is in secret, and thy Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which seeth it in secret, shall reward thee openly. So, as you can see here, they're standing in the corners of the street. So, it fits this precept perfectly. You know, I'm pretty sure he's, you know, giving back. Like, that's why I kind of went into the arms, you know. Pretty sure he's giving, you know, these young men some money and stuff and to help them out. But when you pray, you're not supposed to be out in the open praying like this. And then also you, you're breaking <laughs> one of the, the top commandments is putting a, another God before you. But this is part of the curses in Deuteronomy 28. But when you pray, you don't have to literally uh, go into a closet when you pray. But... You do want to pray in private. You know, you can close your eyes and, and pray within your head. Like That could be your, your closet. <laughs> so the Most High sees everything, knows everything. Matter of fact. But that's pretty much all I had on this. Lord willing, this quick hit was edifying. Call Allah Yimla. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Akim across the four winds. Shalom and a Baba Ball.